Hi, I'm Jake, and I'm in the most random charging station I've ever seen. It's literally in a field. Like, field. We're here charging up because we just did a road trip, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. We went from Vancouver, British Columbia, down to Lincoln City, Oregon. It's about 630 kilometer trip. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you what it's like to take our Tesla Model 3 down the west coast of North America here. So, let's go. Yep, gas is pretty expensive. Doesn't matter for us though. Little bathroom break, we just got across the border. Next stop will be Seattle for a charging station, I do believe. We'll go put it into the map and find out. We're a few hours into our trip and we've covered 105 miles so far it's uh you can switch the car between kilometers and miles but then everything's in miles so uh it, it'll put the kilometer conversion but uh yeah we're we're at 53 percent starting with an 86 or 87 percent charge uh, and then we're heading to our first charging station which is an hour and a bit away so we're like halfway to it i guess it's another 93 miles um we're on the i5 so there's charging stations all the way down so I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue because this is, I think, a 700 kilometer trip total. I'll double check later, but we're definitely uh, definitely not feeling like it's a burden being electric compared to, compared to gas. Made it to the first supercharger. It's interesting enough, too. So the, the navigation said that it would be at 17% when we got here based off of uh, the distance we're traveling. But we actually got here at 25%. So the car ended up being more efficient than what the computer was saying at first. It did adjust as we went. So that's pretty good. Hi. Charging your car in the States, a bit more expensive than Canada. But anyways, we're doing our trip. Initially, it was telling us to make another stop just below Portland to charge up again, but we just stayed here, charged to 85%, and now it's saying we can make it all the way to our destination if we want, but we might stop along the way. Regardless though, Pretty good. Only wants to charging stop to go from here all the way down to all the way to Lincoln City, Oregon. So that's pretty good. Quick little top up and we'll continue our way. I like doing this too because I don't like getting to a destination with like less than 20% and then having to find a charger there. Rather just be more than I need when we get there. And it gave us a break to use the washroom and get some food. Here's the situation. It says our we got two hours to get to our destination, which means we'll get there around six. But we want to get there before sunset so we can see the sunset when we get there. So hopefully we make it in time. There's no further delays with traffic and stuff like that because we're pretty bad today, but hopefully we'll be okay.
we made it to our destination, and as you can see, it got really foggy as soon as we rolled in, so I'm not going to get that sweet sunset, at least not tonight. I might get one tomorrow. If I do, you're going to see it. But yeah, we're here at our hotel. It's a beachfront hotel. Really nice. Should be nice, fun little getaway. But uh, stats. How, how did the car fare on this trip? We traveled the distance of 406 miles, which in kilometers is 653 kilometers. So I thought it was around 700, so I was a little generous on that. We used 95 kilowatt hours. What I think the battery in this car is a 89 kilowatt hour or 79. I can't remember what the number was exactly. I'll put it up here. If I, I'll look it up and put it up here. Um, so yeah, you, there's no way you can make it one charge, obviously. For this duration of this trip too, I never charged past 90%. I went 80 on the one charge and 90 on the other charge. Then the second charge wasn't necessarily needed. I'm still at 55% charge state right now so we would have made it on that one charge when we stopped just below seattle so that's pretty good we, we traveled across a full entire state and only had to stop once for half an hour realistically i know i did stop twice but we only needed to stop once so the notion that electric cars having to stop to charge is is time consuming and you know like not the same as having a, a combustion engine where you can just fill up in five minutes and go is still like it's still a, a misconception because that time we stopped we also went and got some food and to a washroom break you know things that you do on a road trip so overall i don't think it's really a big deal like if it, it felt fine <laughs> i that's and the second stop too was once again I don't like to leave the car at a very low state when I get to a location, just in case we can't find charging readily available. Um, I know there is a supercharger just down the road from here, so I know I am fine, but I didn't want to get here and then have to charge. So it's nice to do that on the way, and then you use that as an excuse to go to the washroom, get a drink, or whatever you need to do, which we did need to do. So it was a, a situation where we needed to stop, the car didn't. So I think overall, the road trip experience in electric is perfectly fine especially in north america where charging is really everywhere the only place i'd be more concerned is going more north of where we're at in vancouver because there there's going to be a lot less but if you're traveling across the states it's easy at least so far with my experience i'm sure others that have done it may say otherwise um but yeah efficiency wise i'm gonna see if i did the math right on this future jake here I got the numbers wrong when I previously recorded this. So, we went 406 miles using 95 kilowatt hours. So, you know, it's about like a battery and a half, more or less, with the car. Um, if I was to charge it 100%. It worked out to around 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour, which is like 6.7 kilometer per kilowatt hour. So, overall, pretty good efficiency. Most of the highways were around 60 miles per hour, which is kind of that sweet spot I noticed. Um, so... Every time I would be going around 65 or less, I found that the car actually was more efficient than what the maps was saying I would get. And then if I was going over 65 or closer to 70 miles per hour, it would be less efficient and I would actually start, you know, like if it said 8% when I got to my destination, it would actually get lower. So that's kind of like the 65 miles per hour is kind of that sweet spot range I found. I think that's, this is normal with most vehicles because something to do with like the wind resistance once you get over certain speeds. Overall, the drive was really good, really enjoyable. The adaptive cruise control is amazing for these long drives, and uh, I don't think I could drive something without it <laughs> anymore. Like, it's, it kind of spoils you. But uh, yeah, anyways, that is it for this video. I just wanted to bring you guys along on a quick road trip that we did with the car and kind of show you my experiences with it to maybe help people that are considering going electric but like to do long drives that it's not a problem. You can do it. <laughs> it was actually a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this kind of content of these Tesla road trips, let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. Um, you know, Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it because uh, I enjoyed making this video. I want to make more like this, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's it for me on this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.